welcome back to my channel my name is Macy and you're watching vintage and home decor and today we're gonna make some mosaic clays what you're gonna need is air dry clay some dish a little bit of water a glass um, baking sheet rolling pan but everything what I just told you guys I'm gonna show you step by step how you make this waste so if you like doing DIYs please stay with me and I we can do it we can do it together if you want guys thank you so much for watching please stay safe stay beautiful and let's jump into it I saw so many people doing this mosaic type of ways so just to show you guys a couple of things in Pinterest, um, different design, different uh, looks, even somebody can make uh, like floral design, like, floral design like this. Um, so I thought we can try to make ours. I saw Axel McKenna doing it with um, clay, so I thought I'd give it a try. I wasn't sure what to use, so how oh, I said it, I saw Axel McKenna uh, using clay, so that's what I'm gonna use. And it's a different, uh, couple of different design um, on Pinterest all of them beautiful even they doing wall art like that i think all of them is really nice i just want to show you guys a couple of design guys um for this DIY, we're gonna need a rolling pin, or I actually just using for my clay. Um, any uh, clay is good for this um, DIY. I actually wrapped up really well mine because I usually using clay a lot. Um, I have this. That's terracotta color um, clay, air dry clay, but you can use any clay what you like to use. Um, picked up this one from a charity shop from one pound. It's like a, just a vase, a glass vase. Some water in a cup or in a dish. I using some gloves. Um, again, picked up from charity shop. Any dish what you don't use yet, um, you uh, tired of the color, or um, you just have like me, just one piece, and you want to reuse it. Uh, you can do it with this method. Um, you need a hammer and uh, some kitchen towel for breaking up the dish. So what we gonna what how we gonna start? You can measure actually, you know, uh, how tall is your waist? Mine is thirteen centimeter and. Um, we're gonna go from there. Probably I want a little bit coming over so we can see this uh, glass um, side of it. So let's jump into it. First of all, I'm gonna have my gloves on if I can work on it. If not, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it off it a good amount of terracotta clay mine is air dry 
So Mike is gonna take a couple of these to um, dry properly. So I take it off like this amount, kind of. And I using a baking uh, paper to roll on my my um, clay a little bit make it hand warm so more you can um, roll it out better just a little bit work it through I think I'm gonna have problem with these gloves. <laughs> and then you're just rolling out your um, clay. Not too thick, but not too thin either. Let's see. Yeah, that's will be okay. You wrap it around your waist very good. And where it's a little bit you're feeling too thick, you can move the clay around. So like here I was had a little bit of access to the glass, so I just moving around the clay the end of it you're not gonna see too much anyways your um, little rough ridges you just have to make sure is covered everywhere and then we can come back with a little water and smooth that smooth things out Way, and then you can get a more smoother finish. Working through the edges on the top, a little bit of water, not too much. I'm gonna continue with this little dish here. So, what we're gonna do, we handling down our Dish cloth. You, um, you wrap it up inside and then you just you just break it. you broken up your pieces you can do it smaller pieces bigger pieces whatever is suit you and then you just gonna push it into the clay Finally right 
And then you just like a puzzle going all around the ways. After all the puzzle work, something like this you have to get. Now let's wait um, maybe 24 hours or more until these get dry. And then we will see how exactly it's gonna turn out. So, after it's nicely dried out with the uh, mosaic dishes, I'm gonna use some black acrylic paint to paint the clay, which is gonna give, I think, a pop up color for the white uh, cream color and the flowers. Um, I gonna have this little, I uh, using that uh, to put my paint on, um, I using different um, brushes, paint brushes, and I have some water to put my um, brush inside. It's probably gonna take time to do it, so if you just like me uh, you will put on some show to watch or um like me i'm watching crazy lanky lady on youtube so pop on some some show and let's get into the painting job Everywhere where is the clay, that is where you're gonna paint. And I think is will give a little bit more popping out the mosaic look to the ways. I think. But if you are happy with your clay looking, that's good too. I'm going one step forward to paint this little places between the dishes. You can seal it with Mod Podge, dishwasher seal Mod Podge. If you use it outside, I'm gonna use it inside, so I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. But I can in between the lines, and then that's gonna give you some little bit of more colors. My husband was loved it how it is, but uh, I told him I want you to paint it black between the um, dishes. Uh, the mosaics so it's gonna give us a little bit more depth and gonna make it looking more so much better so you just going the mosaic and it's gonna be look I think better with the black color and just a natural clay look, look. Obviously, for the little places, you can use the thinner brushes, and then you can work it so much better between the lines. And I will come back to you guys when I'm done with it to show you guys how it is gonna look like with the black. 